Hey, what's going on you guys back at you with another gaming video in today's video if you guys read the title we're going to be doing another top five favorite and go-to loadouts that i use in call of duty black ops cold war you know i just thought to myself as time has been going on playing this game i just thought to myself you know what why don't we just make another top five loadout video now remember these are the weapons that i use in this game half of them are not fully maxed out and there's going to be a couple of them where they're going to have the same secondaries before we start this countdown we have a quick announcement to make okay so we are two subscribers away from 150 subscribers you guys are absolutely amazing now if we get to 150 by the end of the month i'm going to be doing a 150 subscriber special video you remember in the 75 special when i ate an entire bag of haunted ghost pepper chips bag of paki haunted ghost pepper chips damn do not drink water that activates it yeah that that did not go so well so for the 150 subscriber special i want you guys to comment down below what kind of challenge should I do to celebrate 150 subscribers? If you decide not to comment down, you can also go to my Instagram, which is right there. Recently posted on my story and word for word, face to face, he can tell me what challenges I should do. Now, without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy the video and let the countdown begin. So kicking off the countdown at number 5, we have the XM4 Fully Automatic Assault Rifle with reliable damage and improved fire rate. So for the attachments that I added in this assault rifle, I used an infantry compensator in the muzzle, a 13.5 task force barrel, a microflex LED optic, a tactical stock, a field tape, 35 round speed mag, a cruiser grip, and in the body a SWAT 5 MW laser sighting. Along with the XM4, we have the R1 Shadowhunter crossbow. It launches lethal bolt projectiles to silently eliminate enemies. It comes with excellent hip fire accuracy. And with this crossbow, I equipped it with the Millstone Reflex Optics Scope. At number 4 of our list, we have the Milano A21 Fully Automatic Submachine Gun. It has high damage, fair recoil, but a slower fire rate. This is one of my top three favorite submachine guns in this game. The attachments that I equip on this bad boy are the agency suppressor at the muzzle, a 10.6 task force barrel, a marathon stock, an SASR jungle grip, a vandal speed loader at the magazine, a bruiser grip, and a SWAT 5 MW laser sighting. Along with the Milano A21, we have the fully automatic nail gun. Now, a lot of people say that this gun is completely dark shit, but in my opinion, it's not. It's fully automatic, comes with slow firing power, and high damage at close range. Yes, I understand, the capacity of the ammo is super low, but if you can't handle it, it'll help you get the job done. Halfway done at the countdown on number 3, we have the LW3 Tundra Bolt Action Sniper Rifle. Now this sniper comes with high damage and moderate sweat. It's only a one shot kill to the head, chest, or shoulders. So as long as you aim up high with the sniper, you'll definitely kill an enemy with one shot. Equipped with 25.8 rapid fire, an infiltrator grip, fast mag, SASR jungle grip, and a marathon pad. Our secondary weapon of the slowdown is the LC-10 Fully Automatic Submachine Gun. As soon as this weapon was released in the second season of Cold War, I automatically fell in love with it. Comes with an excellent damage range, good accuracy, moderate damage, an impressive muzzle velocity, and a high fire rate. In this overpowered submachine gun, we added the infantry compensator at the muzzle, a 13.9 task force barrel, a separate wrap at the handle, a salvo 52 round fast magazine, and a bruiser grip at the underbarrel. At number 2 of our list, we have the MP5, a fully automatic submachine gun with fast fire rate, low recoil, and good visibility and control while firing. The MP5 is one of my favorite submachine guns to use in either search and destroy or in close quarters maps. 
Equipped in the MP5 is the SOCOM Eliminator Muzzle, a SWAT 5MW laser sighting, a Microflex LED, no stock added, an airborne elastic wrap, a 40 round drum magazine, a bruiser grip at the underbarrel, and a 9.5 task force barrel. And once again, it's one of the, if not greatest, and most overpowered submachine guns in this game. Along with the MP5, we have the AMP63, a fully automatic pistol with fast fire rate, improved bullet velocity, and moderate recoil. This fully automatic pistol has reliable damage output at close range, and the attachments that I equip on this bad boy are the muzzle brake 9, the 6.1 reinforced heavy barrel, the SOF target designator, a 20 round speed med, and a speed tape at the handle. At number one of our list, we have the M16 Burst Fire Tactical Rifle with excellent burst fire accuracy when aiming down the sights. It also comes with good visibility while firing. For medium to long range maps, use a silencer, 15.9 strike team barrel, axle arms 3x, SAS combat stock, airborne elastic wrap, salvo 54 round pass mag, bruiser grip, and SWAT 5 MW laser sighting. With the M16, I use the Diamante Burst Fire Pistol with fast cyclic rate of fire, short delay between bursts, increased ammo capacity, and improved damage range. When you're running low on ammo or if you have to reload your primary weapon, the Diamante is at least the way to go when it comes to secondary weapons. Equipped in the Diamante are the Solcom Eliminator Muzzle, the 7.2 Task Force Barrel, Dual Wheel, Salvo 30 Round Bass Magazine, and the SWAT 5 NW Laser Sighting. And that, ladies and gentlemen, are my top 5 loadouts from Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, please make sure to give this video a like. And if you would like to, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so you can be notified of my upcoming videos. I will make sure at 150 subscribers I will be doing a challenge just like the 75 special. And once again, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.